All right, the countdown to kickoff is on. Just about 24 hours to go now. That's when TCU will give their all to knock off the defending champs from Georgia. Let's take a live look at SoFi Stadium over in California, where the title game will be played tomorrow night. Those Horn Frogs are already taking over Los Angeles, everybody hoping for TCU's first national championship since 1938. Tonight, WFAA's Joe Trahan and Marcus Took are in LA. All the talk is done, and now both teams are closing in ranks as we inch ever closer to tomorrow night's national championship game. We're looking forward to Monday night. I know it's going to be a big challenge for us, but but our guys have never backed down uh, for challenges. Both coaches making their final public comments this morning, then posing with the prize. The Frogs trying to shock the world. The Dogs looking for back-to-back -back titles. And our resident Horn Frog, Mark Istook, TCU grad class of 98, among the most invested media members here in LA. I mean, for me, one, I was that kid who in his front yard was throwing around the TCU football as a eight year old, you know, who never could have dreamed of being on this stage. And even in recent years when the team's had success, you're on the outside looking in, just trying to break through that ceiling. So for the team to get here this year, the way that they did, it's been pretty meaningful from a fan's perspective, but also from someone who loves Fort Worth and what this has meant for the city. I don't know how you can truly calculate how unifying this has been for so many folks in the area. There's a national championship trophy right behind us. The Frogs could own it. Are you kidding me? It would look really good in that uh, trophy case <laughs> in Daniel Myers. Don't you think? Absolutely. <laughs> be incredible. And the one thing that I think sets this team apart for me, Mark, is that the mentality that they have. There's this calm, cool, collected nature and mentality for this team that I think would play really big in the important moments on Monday night. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, I think that's been another big surprise this season is just how this team has carried themselves and they don't look like this is the first time they've been here. They don't look like the stage is too big for them. They certainly didn't against Michigan and we'll see if they don't against Georgia as well. From what we've seen so far, that might be the case. Mark and I have you covered all you need to know to get ready for the national championship and Mark will see you bright and early tomorrow morning on Daybreak.